Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Jason and guess what? It's t-shirt weather. It's like minus 12 Celsius. That's 10 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm out here, I'm in a t-shirt and it is balmy. No, it isn't. It is freaking cold. Guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk about pre-sale inspections and that's what we refer to as the inspection that we give a vehicle when it comes in either from a trade-in or something that we have bought at the auction and what we do to go over them to make sure that they are ready for the lot and ready for you to take possession. Now depending on how busy we are sometimes a vehicle will start a pre-sale inspection with just a simple visual and a walk around the vehicle. So we're going to take a look at this 2014 Volkswagen Tiguan and we're going to do a quick visual. Just things that we can jot down that we know may or may not need to be addressed. So one thing the auction does provide to us is a very thorough condition report. And that condition report will basically mark down anything that's obvious on the vehicle, such as maybe a broken windshield, scratches, dents, uh, curb rash on wheels, worn out tires, uh, stuff like that. So uh, we'll compare this Tiguan to the condition report. So the very first thing that we notice is that it does have a broken windshield. Uh, so when we go to bid on these things, we are aware that a windshield is likely about 400 bucks for one of these things. So when we bid, we bid accordingly. When, as we take a walk around the vehicle, this one is in really good shape as far as scratches and dents. And sometimes you don't always find that in a black vehicle. We look right down here on the fender, the front fender, we got a little scratch right there which we can touch up. And down here in the door, one might think that that's a scratch, but it's not. That's undercoating. That's kind of creeped its way around the edge of the door. Tires are fair. They're about probably half, maybe a little better than half, but they are winter tires, which is no problem this time of year. And uh, we look at the brakes and the brakes still have paint on the hub, which tells me that they are new and I can see the pad from here and it looks like a brand new pad and as we continue to walk around the back tires same thing the back tires are fair and the uh, brakes look like they've been just recently changed when we brought it in initially we popped the hood to give the underhood a shampoo and again the first thing we do is check the oil the oil was right up to where it's supposed to be and it was crystal clear I've said it before in different videos that sometimes what happens is people simply go in to their local dealership for an oil change and they get looking and that new car bug just tends to set in. As we come around to the back, we don't see anything out of the ordinary here. One thing we do check is we wanna make sure that we have movement in the rear wiper because sometimes those will seize up. This one seems to be good. Come around the side, of course, you see the brakes and everything. Uh, again, the tires are good. So right now we are in the middle of trying to dry the interior. The interior was a little bit grubby. grubby. Uh, so Junior yesterday was here and uh, shampooed the seats. So now as we take a look in there, the seats look like brand new. So as I mentioned, we will go under the hood and generally we'll give this a quick detail. When you pop the hood on a used car and if it looks clean, the assumption by the general public is that the vehicle has been well maintained. Well, in some cases you can't clean under the hood because of undercoating. This vehicle is very well undercoated and that is all throughout underneath the hood. It's all up along the edge of the hood here, the uh, radiator support down in the inner fenders. So sometimes you don't want to wash that away. So the best thing that we can do is we can just kind of give the plastic a quick rub down and before this is done, we will take some tire shine on a rag and we will just shine up all that plastic to make it look good. So that is just the visual of what we do when the vehicle first comes into the shop. So, you know, we look at those brakes and we say to ourselves, okay, the brakes look like they're brand new. That's not going to stop us from taking the brakes apart right down to the calipers because we want to make sure that those caliper slides um, and the pins are all greased up well. What we've found in the past is when a vehicle goes out, if those calipers aren't done, you know, a couple months down the road, the customer could have brake problems with the brake sticking. Well, who are they gonna come back to and upset, very upset, is usually us. So we're gonna be uh, a little bit proactive and we will take every single brake caliper apart 
Uh, if it's got emergency brakes in the hub, we do the same thing. We'll take those apart and make sure that everything is good there. Of course, you've got to have good quality brakes as well as emergency brakes. All your glass has to be intact. All your lights have to be working and uh, your horn. All that stuff has to be uh, good for your inspection. And then same thing with things like suspension and uh, your exhaust. So we will check all that out. Yesterday, we had a couple of different vehicles in here. We've got the 15 Jeep Patriot, which we've gone all over, and it required a couple of tie rods and some front brakes. So we did do that. And as you can see, the front brake rotors are quite shiny. Why? Because they're brand new. Just because this is a 2015 with about 90,000 kilometers doesn't mean brakes don't wear out. It depends on the driving, and front brakes are always gonna wear out before back brakes. So the back brakes were still good. This vehicle, now other than an alignment, is ready for the lot. So for now, we will park it on the lot, but we'll make that appointment at the local uh, alignment shop to get that looked after. So in the province of New Brunswick, um, it is not the law for used car dealers to have a brand new inspection when they sell the vehicle off the lot. However, we choose to put a brand new one on for the customer when the time comes. So when we sell a vehicle, a annual inspection has to be done on the vehicle so we will make sure that we've gone all over it and we'll put a new sticker for the customer so they've got one year of worry-free driving as far as inspection goes. And in 2019, we have extended our $25 oil change. If you recall, we celebrated 10 years last year in business. So as part of that, we were giving our customers, people who have bought vehicles from us, a $25 oil change. So we decided that that was such a great gesture for our customers to be able to offer that, that we've extended that indefinitely. So it's likely something that we will keep going for years to come. Any customer who buys a vehicle from us will get their oil changes for just $25. Cheapest place in town, I guarantee. So this Jeep is one of the vehicles that we sold back a few years ago and the customer has traded it in to upgrade to something a little bit bigger. So it already had our dealership logo on it. And one of the new things that we're doing for this year is we're putting our website address as a decal on the back window. It might seem to be a little bit cliche in the car business, but uh, it is commonplace for dealers to do that. When this vehicle is sitting on the lot or when it is sitting out at the grocery store after it's sold and somebody sees that, they might be inclined to check that website address out to see what we have on our website. And I encourage you guys to do the same thing. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed taking a little walkthrough on what we do and what we call a pre-sale inspection on our vehicles. And I hope that if you're local and you see uh, this video that you're able to relax a little bit and, and know that we have done our due diligence before we put these cars on the lot. The contest is still on for a thousand subscribers if we can get there by January 31st. I'm giving away $1,000 cash, but you've got to hit that red subscribe button right down there in order to qualify. T-shirts and hoodies are still available at bonfire.com with Old Car Auto Guy at the end. The link is in the description box below. T-shirts, hoodies, available many sizes and many colors. I hope you had a chance to go over and pick one up today. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you. God bless. Let's do it again in the next video.